draft proposal for a communication cycle including the different stakeholders in a collaborative mapping project for process workflow optimization. This presentation is structured in the following way. First I will start with the introduction, then I will go on with the objectives, I will go into the methodology, then I will present a proposal for a collaborative mapping circle, and I will close the presentation with the conclusions. Introduction Collaborative mapping is used in this context for humanitarian risk mitigation strategies. The openness of an approach is regarded as a requirement so that risk mitigation strategies can be adapted to heterogeneous societies, drivers of environmental conditions and regional social constraints. Open community is a generalization of the concept of open source to other collaborative effort. The term open for an open community refers to the opportunity for anyone to join and contribute to the collaborative effort. The direction and goals are determined collaboratively by all members of the community. The resulting work or product is made available under a free license so that other communities can adapt and build on them. In this context, the product of the open community is an improved public health by application of space technologies. Beside the openness of the risk mitigation environment, the change of the existing situation of people exposed to a certain risk towards a more sustainable situation of lower risk requires the establishment of an innovation process. The concept of a living lab within a citizen observatory is proposed as support of user-driven innovation by collaborative mapping results. The concept of openness leads to the application of open source software and delivery of open content and open data to support even self-organization of collaborative risk management within communities that is supported by governmental and non-governmental tailored allocation of available resources. In open communities, a living lab is a research concept that creates a user-centered open innovation ecosystem. The main objective of Living Labs um, in the context of the expert focus group Space and Global Health is that benefits of space technologies should reach the communities and that a research concept quantifies the impact on public health. This presentation gives a first draft of the workflow optimization for collaborative mapping in the context of humanitarian risk mitigation strategies. The proposed communication cycle is regarded as an ongoing optimization that includes different stakeholders from collaborative mapping support, NGOs, governmental organizations and so on, with an open innov innovation cycle that includes the citizens, community uh, or respectively user at risk. In the Living Lab concept, data analysts, mathematical modelers, health experts, innovation ecosystem experts, mapping experts, ICT experts and other decision makers support the risk mitigation process. Objectives The objective of this study is to suggest the first draft of a collaborative mapping communication cycle for risk management and tailored allocation of available resources. Methodology. A communication cycle is suggested by using already existing communication channels and ecosystems and all the selective interfaces and workflows via the proposed communication circle. At the current partially virtual post 86 FUI 2016 meeting with Phosphor G site meeting at the UN campus in Bonn, the role of the different stakeholders within the cycle will be defined and refined. Proposal for a Collaborative Mapping Circle The concept works as follows. The following stakeholders contributing to the collaborative mapping were identified for the present. The citizens or community or users at risk, data analysts, mathematical modelers, health experts, innovation ecosystem experts, mapping experts, ICT experts and decision makers. The following order of events is suggested. The citizens collect georeference data related to risk. 
Simultaneously, remote sense data from satellites is collected. The whole data is stored in a GIS database. The data analysts, mathematical modelers, health experts, innovation ecosystem experts, mapping experts, ICT experts and decision makers map the data, visualize important issues and elaborate risk mitigation strategies which are presented in the form of recommendations to decision makers. The decision makers decide which warning and or decision support is delivered to the citizens. Finally, the cycle starts from the beginning. This circle is refined at the current partially virtual post 86 FUI 2016 meeting with Phosphor-G site meeting at the UN campus in Bonn by identifying the input and output of the different stakeholders and an appropriate communication channel as well as concrete interfaces between the different inputs and outputs. The community can be involved in the following way. A citizen observatory, which has proved a successful concept in several projects, could be implemented. Within a citizen observatory, citizens observe environmental conditions, receive a short-term, immediate benefit, and the citizen observatory itself creates a long-term positive impact on human health. Such a citizen science approach allows scientists to accomplish goals on ongoing monitoring for observable environmental and educational determinants, of risk that would be too expensive to accomplish in a short time span. Mathematical modeling is applied for the mathematical optimization of spatial public health using the One Health approach. The data collection of citizens contributes to the generation of risk maps with tailored temporal and spatial information for the citizens. The crowdsourcing approach has the potential to support spatial decisions on activities in health analytics due to events reported to GIS. The analysis leads to spatial decision support for risk and resources tailored to risk exposed users or decision makers. The risk or respectively resource map is evaluated at a geolocation of the citizen. The main requirement in the proposal referring to citizen sciences is that the citizens must have a benefit for the crowdsourcing contributions in order to have a sustainable implementation of a citizen observatory. In developed areas, an adaptive smartphone app could be used in the manner of crowdsourcing. In non-developed areas, another system for data collection and information provision has to be implemented, which includes a solution for bridging the last mile problem. Conclusions and Prospects At the current partially virtual post 86 FUI 2016 meeting with Phosphor-G site meeting at the UN campus in Bonn, recommendations for collaborative mapping will be derived by deriving an order of stakeholders becoming active in an emergency situation, which requires collaborative mapping for risk management and tailored allocation of available resources. For this purpose, the input and output of the different stakeholders and an appropriate communication channel has to be identified and interfaces between the different inputs and outputs have to be created. This presentation presents first proposals for a communication circle and interface solutions focusing on community integration into the mapping process. Specific recommendations will be derived within the partially personal and virtual meeting of the stakeholders. Regarding the workflows in the meeting itself, an established communication cycle will be optimized for new challenges and altered requirements for collaborative mapping in the context of risk management. Thank you for your attention.